Yo, yo, Bob from Bob's Bear TV here doing a, a short preview for a Palace game away on Saturday, 12.30 kickoff. Uh, quite a few injuries, obviously. We have uh, the likes of uh, Skip potentially out, Sonny potentially out. I do think they'll both start, start actually. More, uh, more importantly, we've got two defenders out in Sanchez and Romero. I'm not going to talk about the uh, the scenes between Argentina and, and Brazil. We've uh, kind of all said our piece. And then obviously we've got Lo Celso missing as well. Lo Celso won't be that much of a miss, I don't think. He's hardly played uh, this season. Skippy, like I think, I think he'll be fit enough to, to, to start. If not, it's a choice between Harry Winks and, and Dembele. Um Sonny, I think it was more precaution. I think he'll start, and obviously we hope Harry Kane can bring his fantastic England form to Spurs. Emerson has got a chance to start. Do we move Tanganga in into in in central defence alongside Dyer? So Emerson can play. Personal feeling is probably a game that I wouldn't start Emerson in. It's new to the Premier League, and last thing you want to be doing is is up against Zaha, who always performs against us. So, um, if it was my choice, and I know Sim from uh, We Are Tottenham TV stated this earlier, hopefully bring Roden in. Now, the question could be, of course, why bring Roden in when he's not played all season? Didn't play for Wales as well. So, um, yeah, it's all up in the air. My personal 11 would be Lloris in goal. Right back of Doherty. Sorry, guys. Tanganga, Dyer, and Reggie. Hoybier and Skip. And if Skip doesn't play, now do I put my personal... Right, OK. First, first of all, I'll say about Endon Bentley. I don't like his attitude. I don't think um, his commitment's there. I am the person who's, who's constantly said in many a streams, I do believe he can become the best midfielder in the world. Without exaggeration, his ability is fantastic and he can easily become the best midfielder in the world, but I just don't like his commitment. Because of that, and I'm not in the know, we're not, we're not in the know, we don't know how he trains, I'd start with uh, Harry Winks ahead of him, having said that. If he does start, it's good news, because in Nuno, I trust. And for Nuno to start with, and Dembele means he's obviously shown you know something in um, in training and showed a bit of commitment. So it's good news if he does start. So, but for me right now, from where I stand, unfortunately, I have to be Harry Winks. I'm apologising for for Harry Winks uh, in my in my starting eleven. Um, Bergwijn looks like he uh, he was off with a with a swollen foot. Or certainly had a lot of ice around his. Uh, his ankles and, and, and foot area. So if he doesn't start, oh sorry, obviously Danny Ali as well. Sunny, hopefully, I do think he, he's going to start. Remember Man United. That's all I'm going to say. Harry Kane, and it'll have to be uh, Lucas. Uh, Lucas will have to come in. I know there's a lot. Of, there's been club before. Hill. He is. He looks like great potential. But I would slowly. Ease him into uh, ease him into the first eleven. Um, hopefully, get a few more minutes than what he did in his last game against uh, Watford, I believe. So yeah, that's that's my eleven. Um, I think we'll win. I think we'll get a two 0 win. I think we'll keep another clean sheet. Talks of Larice extending his stay for another two years. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's been good. He's been a great servant. No, we'll we'll talk of Kane and his loyalty. But I remember Lloris uh, has given us a bit of loyalty as well. We could have quite easily gone elsewhere. So if he does stay for another two years, it'd be interesting to see how the whole Galini thing deal works out. Because remember, he is still on loan. Um, don't know what long term plan is going to be with that. Um, Crystal Palace, new team, very new team, a lot of new faces. I like Gallagher. As a as a as a striker, um, obviously we've got Zaha still there. 
and strings, and Vieira still implementing new ideas. A lot of people say, oh, it's uh, pretty similar. You know, uh, Nuno and, and uh, Vieira, new team, new ideas. I think Nuno outdoes him by a landslide when uh, when you talk about experience within the Premier League. So I do believe uh, Nuno will have the upper hand. I do believe we'll carry on our winning streak. Hence, I do believe we'll finish. Uh, we'll be finishing the uh, day top of the season. Uh, top of the season. That'll be great. Top top of the season. Top top of the league at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, two 0 Spurs win. I've given you my eleven. Um, and uh, yeah, top of the league. Uh, so uh, please like, subscribe to Lily White Lane. Robbie's doing some great stuff. I wish I had the knowledge that he has at his age. Um, and uh, like I say, check out his content and like, subscribe. You'll find me on Bob Spur TV. Please pop over and like and subscribe my uh, channel as well. I will be doing an In the Wall show this Saturday night. First In the Wall show I'll be doing when Spurs actually play a game, they uh, normally do on a Saturday night and they play on a Sunday. So that'll be uh, interesting. And uh, there's something else on the agenda, which uh, I'll share with you on Saturday night. But yeah, like, subscribe to Lily White Lane. Fantastic channel. Absolutely brilliant. Bringing out some great stuff and some great guests, even, do, even though I do say myself, come on you Spurs.